Hello and welcome to yet another video by Solusi on IT Services. We are a team of experts who are busy making a lot of good add-ons for use on Microsoft Dynamics CRM that make your life more productive every day. So today I present to you the Kanban board for Microsoft Dynamics CRM and this will really help you improve your functioning on a day-to-day -day basis. Now first look at what we do as of today and what is it that is going to change for you. I am on a regular open opportunities screen where I see all my open opportunities in a listed view. If I would like to see where I am, when I open a record, I can see which particular business process stage that I am on and work accordingly. Normally, I have a list view and in case I would like to see different stages and stuff, I can add more fields over here. Now, what is it that we are offering? The moment you switch to a Kanban board, your life suddenly changes from this black and white screen to a very colorful screen. And this is the kind of view that you get. So you are on open opportunity screen and you are able to see all the opportunities based on opportunity sales process flow and it shows you which particular opportunity is currently sitting in which stage. It also shows you a couple of other things. For example, what are the most important fields for that opportunity? Who is the owner? When was it created? And if multiple opportunities are sitting in a particular stage, what is an average estimated revenue for all the opportunities in total, right? In addition, I can click open my opportunity right from here and start looking at the screen for opportunity. Along with that, I do have the opportunity to delete records in case I have delete rights. I can move a record from one stage to another if all the business processes are being satisfied. For example, everything was okay and I saw a success message here. In case I was not allowed to move from one stage to another, the system will also prompt you that you cannot do that. All right. Now, in addition, just to let you know, the Scanman board is functional for multiple entities at the same time. For example, I've configured it for one of my custom entities and one of my system entities. We are not segregating between which kind of entity are you using. So what happens and how it functions? Let's start looking at the configuration of a new Kanban board for you. So when you request us and we give you a solution for Kanban board, you get an entity called Kanban settings and you can simply go there. I'm going to demonstrate uh, creating one Kanban for a custom entity that we have built, which I think which is nice to show and demonstrate. So I have selected the entity name. It gives me the option to choose a business process or a status reason. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to choose status reason. The moment I did that, if you notice, I see all the various statuses that I have. Now, they are already selected and if I saved everything, it will start showing me all the statuses in my Kanban. I don't want to see everything. So let me start removing some stuff which I think are not useful for me. So now I'm left with only a few statuses. Let I have the option of moving statuses up and down and see them in the sequence which makes sense to me. So uh, I think that's pretty nice. I can move my completed statuses at the end. Once I have done that, I have the option to choose up to five fields, which I think are really important. If I would like to see and stage aggregate, I can. And then I will go ahead and save this record.
the record is saved successfully all I need to do now is to go back to my Kanban board and give it a nice refresh and there it is my entity has occurred over here I can simply hit the entity select the view that I would like to see and all my records are right here I have the option to collapse let's say less important statuses or the statuses that I would not like to see at the time of uh, doing my work I can move my record from one stage to another if you notice I see all the fields that I had added the owner and the date that it was created on and do my work more effectively and more visually I hope you liked it and we'll be happy to get queries from you and we'll be happy to provide you the trial instance. Please visit our website www.soulsit.com and reach out to us. Thank you so much.